Ollie skate support. Okay, so you said you're still having a little trouble with keeping your shoulders straight and sliding your foot up, so I'm going to see if I can help you with that. Now, in most of these shots, I can't actually see your shoulders, but usually what it means when you're turning a little bit is that you are turning your shoulders and turning your arms and your head, and I can't really see what's happening up there because it's cut off, but that looks like it might be the case. The other thing I noticed that I thought was a little bit different is that when you bend down, you kind of bring your arms out and up. Now usually, and I think that it'll increase your balance a little better if you crouch down and kind of put your arms down at your side, almost more centered, and then when you pop up, you can bring your arms up. It's almost like you're putting your arms in the opposite direction, like bringing them up when you're crouching down rather than bringing them up when you're popping up which is the way it should be. Now in terms of sliding your foot, you're sliding your foot okay. You are popping and getting the board up into the air. Now this is the motion that you should practice more on sliding your foot just to improve on that. And yes, you could put your foot further back on the board. Usually if you put your foot further back, it will help you get your ollies a little higher. So for those of you who can ollie and you are working on your ollies and want higher ollies, that's a tip. Put your foot further back, look at my, my feet are pretty close together there, and then I pop up and do the ollie. Now the other thing I wanted to let you know is that you could improve on bringing your back foot up. Notice how my board really levels out, and it even almost points down from the nose. So as soon as your back foot pops, bring your back foot up as much as you can and kind of point your front foot down a little more. That's going to help to level out your ollie. And that was the biggest thing I could see. Like your ollies are actually really good. I think that you should just continue practicing and moving on to the front side 180 as long as you have the very first step of riding fully, fully down. This is the exact reason why I set up skateboarding made simple in the way that it is. So you get all of the basics, you get the pushing and then the ollie and the front side 180 and you learn all of the basics in the proper order. It's very important to do it in the proper order. So hope you guys are learning things from these and thanks a lot for all your help and support.